Hi everyone, welcome to Travelzilla. So are you ready to fly Ryanair, one of the world's most famous low-cost airlines? Check out my flight report. Let's go! Hey guys, my name is Rodrigo and you're watching Travelzilla and today I'll be flying from Lisbon, Portugal to Milan, Italy and I'm going to be flying Ryanair and I'm going to take you with me. Let's go. I'm going to show you all about what it's like flying Ryanair from Lisbon to Milan. So guys, if you decide to get to the airport here in Lisbon by Uber, you're going to pay somewhere around 10 euros one way to get here and your Uber driver may drop you off at that midsection there where regular cars stop. It's pretty easy. When you get to the boarding area, look for a panel in which you find out the numbers of the respective counters your given airline may use. This time around, Ryanair used only one counter. For those of you who don't know much about Ryanair, it's an Irish company, it's pretty famous around the world. Its headquarters are located in Dublin, Ireland. It's a low-cost airline, meaning it's ideal for those who travel with as little as possible. Hey guys, so uh, it was pretty awesome. The guys were really, really nice. Um, I dispatched my bags and uh, checked them, so no problem at all right there. I didn't pay any extra amounts to um, check my baggage and uh, the weight was okay, so I'm pretty happy about that. And now all I have to do is go through security, and which is always a pain, and then catch my flight to Milan, Italy. Let's check out a little bit of the airport. Let's go. If you don't carry that much luggage with you, it's very worth it. I paid 27 euros one way from Lisbon to Milan myself, but in most low-cost airlines, all services sold are paid separately. So you pay for each piece of luggage, each meal, drinks, snacks, souvenirs, to pick your seat number, fast track, even transportation from the airport to the city center can be bought at Ryanair's website online. Hey guys, so the check-in areas here go from letters 1 to F. Usually A's tap, um, I boarded through check-in area B, just so you know. Now that um, I've checked in my pieces of luggage, actually one piece of luggage, I'm gonna have to go through security, grab a coffee, and head to Italy. Let's go, I'm sweaty already. So even though I bought my ticket for only 27 euros one way, in the end it cost me a total of 110 euros for I had to pick a window seat to show it to you guys, you know, transport my filming equipment, get a fast track, so on and so forth. So it isn't as cheap as one may think in the end. After you go through security, but just before you actually enter the duty-free shop, that's where you're gonna find your tax return booth. Just in case you want to collect back whatever you've spent on VAT, but attention, you can only get that money back if you're actually leaving the EU, okay? Well, after I checked to see if there was a gate number yet, well, not yet, I headed to a British cafe called Paul, which I happen to like very much. Join me. Well, Portugal used to be cheap, not cheap anymore. Here at Paul, one cafe latte and um, ham and cheese sandwich like that, $8.49, which is absurd. Ridiculous. They called in, so boarding started, uh, I leave at 8, it's 20 past 7 and these people are already boarding. Weird, but anyway, I'm gonna go there now. After a lot of walking, I finally arrived at my gate on time and soon after I got on the bus. No jetway here, linking the building to the plane of course, Ryanair is a low cost airline after all, but I bought priority anyway for 12 euros. We were in the height of the pandemic. This was my last opportunity to get to Milan before some severe restrictions had been implemented by the Italian government. So I thought the flight was gonna be packed. Not the case at all. Well, I had bought priority anyway, which cost me 12 euros, but usually cost between six and 20 euros regularly, depending on the flight. 
So I boarded a 737-800 Boeing with the capacity of carrying 189 passengers. Ryanair has 470 aircrafts just like this one and has ordered an extra 210 to join their fleet in the coming years. By 2024, Ryanair plans to have a total fleet of 585 aircraft. It's crazy. At Line 1, passengers pay extra to have a bit more legroom and quick exit. Lines 2 to 5 also offer quick exit access and Line 16 and 17 extra leg space as well. The aircraft's safety instructions can be found at the back of the seat in front of you, glued to the front seat. So my seat wasn't spacious at all, as you can tell, okay? Well, priority comes with two pieces of luggage and it's non-refundable, okay? Where uh, the sky is cloudy, there is a rainy evening and uh, with a light wind, the temperature plus. Hey guys, not sure if you've noticed, but there are no screens anywhere on the plane. So make sure you take your laptop or you bring your tablet or cell phone with you when flying Ryanair, okay? Books are very welcome too. Flight from Lisbon to Milan, Bergamo is 2.5 hours long at the speed of 850 kilometers per hour or 528 miles per hour. Goodbye, Lisbon. Well, I had a little nap. You know, I needed some sleep, but now it's time for me to wake up because I need to show you one of the aircraft's three restrooms. Let's go. So here we are. The restroom is pretty small, pretty standard, very, very simple. Toilet, sink, toilet paper, soap, so on and so forth available here. Have a look. Well, if you're wondering if there is any food here, yes, there is. The airline crew sells food, drinks, and items that can be found at the airline's magazine. You can pay for them in credit card or cash, okay? The flight was very good, even in horrible weather. The plane didn't shake much. Well, now it's time to land in Milan, Bergamo. That's exciting. It was so rainy. So landing was a bit rough, which is very appropriate for days with bad weather, they say. The flight was really good, landing was very good too, okay? No stress at all. If you plan on going from Lisbon to Milan, you must test negative on your COVID-19 RT-PCR test. The test must be taken up to 72 hours before arrival. When I took my test in Portugal, it cost me 120 euros, okay? The exit was pretty organized, one line at a time, pretty efficient and quick. We must take the bus to the airport terminal as well. No jetways used either way. Well, check this out. A 737-800 Boeing. Such a fine piece. The ride from the airport to the plane by bus takes between 5 to 10 minutes. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Now check out some of the scenes from my other videos here in Milan. The best panettone in Milan, the land of panettone, Christmas in Milano, the world's best Starbucks, so on and so forth. Thanks for watching. Drop a like, leave a comment, share and subscribe. Bye bye guys. Thank you. Arrivederci.